Jenk is currently engaging in a little bit of a beef with Glenn Greenwald, who he accurately described as someone who's not really on the left. And he did so in an interview on Mediate's podcast. Let's take a look at what Jenk had to say, and then we'll go to a very triggered Glenn Greenwald. Mainstream media is disgusting in how they shut out progressives. Um, in terms of the right wing, no, no, no. Brianna Joy Gray, unfortunately, is one of the people that are in the now the fake left. And so this has become a whole uh, niche part of the industry. So Jimmy Dore, Glenn Greenwald, Brianna Joy Gray, and a couple of others in there uh, that are, to be fair to Dave Rubin, uh, he started this whole thing. Uh, the fake left saying, oh, well, you know, I, it's just I'm, I'm a classical liberal. I'm a progressive, but it turns out the right wing's right about everything. Okay, so that's the shtick that they do, and they go on Tucker's show, and and they dance for him, and and so it's disgusting. They're not the real left, uh, and here's how you can tell: they never disagree with Tucker. And uh, the the look, the Tucker element of that is just so demonstrably true, and. We'll, We'll show you in just a second. But Glenn Greenwald gets triggered anytime anyone critiques his appearances on Tucker Carlson. So he responds with the nation's single dumbest pundit. Let's pause for a second. Is Glenn Greenwald not the guy who referred to Tucker Carlson as a socialist? Maybe sit this one out, homeboy, but let me continue. Uh, the nation's single dumbest pundit, and I mean that literally and earnestly, there may be people more malicious, but there's simply nobody more stupid, more cognitively dense. Uh, decrees that Bernie Sanders 2020 press secretary is part of the fake left. Okay, so let me jump in now on a couple of things. So I just saw that tweet, by the way. He's, uh, to me, he's not so relevant. I hadn't even bothered to look at him attacking me. Uh, and so he, every once in a while he pokes, he pokes enough that I have to you know, uh, correct him. Uh, so in, in this case, um, who else from the Bernie campaign is still talking to Brianna Joy Gray? So is it possible that someone from the left would then not be on the left later when they see that there's money to be made from right wing viewers? So that never occurred to you, Glenn? That happened to you, Glenn. How could it not have occurred to you? And so he says that I am uh, that I'm dumb, that I'm a dumb pundit. Well, that's interesting because as you're going to see in the later, in, later in the story, Glenn and I used to agree on almost everything. When we were both progressives who criticized Democrats and Republicans, we ground, so does that make you the world's dumbest pundit, Glenn? Were you super dumb before? And over the last two years, as you've become Tucker Carlson's best friend and kissed his ass on a weekly basis and ingratiated yourself in humiliating fashion to the right wing, did you become smarter? All of a sudden, losing your progressive ideas and principles? Made you smarter? Is that what happened, Glenn? So you tell me. I mean, you said that I'm not intelligent, and you and I agreed completely before. What happened? Yeah. Okay, so obviously, uh, this is sophistry. And what it is, is it's an attempt to trick his new audience, which are honestly less intelligent, the right wing. They'll believe anything, right? Uh, so he, he's like, oh, yeah. Uh, if you worked on Bernie Sanders' campaign, that means you never change your opinion later. And the right wing's like, yeah, that's right, that's so true. Oh, Glenn Greenwald used to be a progressive. And look at that, he says everything the right wing does is true now and correct, and they're godly and heavenly. It must be true, it must be true, okay? No, it isn't true, it's a trick. Yeah, look, you triggered him because what you said is demonstrably true. And he hates when anyone critiques his appearances on his daddy's you know, Fox News program. But look, just to answer your question, after he had made a career and a name for himself defending literal Nazis as a lawyer, uh, he, you know, engaged in this like LARPing uh, persona as a progressive. But in reality, uh, I think he's always been questionable. And unfortunately, uh, I, I didn't know about his past and I didn't know what he really stood for. He follows, he's not any type of uh, intelligent political thinker. He just goes where he thinks um, the popularity is or where the money is. And we're about to demonstrate that right now. Now, later, Greenwald posted this old clip of Jank. Again, very old clip of Jank with the caption, thank you, Jank. And it's what you were referring to. Let's take a look.
Glenn Greenwald, he I believe is really the Noam Chomsky of our generation. I know that's strong words, but I think he's really earned it time and time again, pointing out the hypocrisy of the government, the media, being absolutely fearless about it. And some of just the best reporting there is literally in the world, if you ask me. So Glenn tweeted that old praise toward him by Jank, and Jank responded with, no problem, I absolutely meant it. That's why it's so heartbreaking to see you what you've become now. To be a shadow of your former self being used as a convenient prop by the right wing is so sad to watch. I'm being serious, you were better than this, Jesus, have some self respect. Well, he doesn't have self respect and as a Look, this is a perfect tweet demonstrating exactly what Jake was referring to. They didn't even wait. They didn't even wait one day to prove Jank correct. And it's two screenshots of tweets from Glenn Greenwald. I spoke last night on Fox about the extraordinary win by Myra Flores 2022, I think, a nurse. Uh, a nurse married to a border patrol agent who is now the first Mexico born congresswoman in US history, flipping an overwhelmingly Latino district, uh, which in 2016 went to Hillary plus 16 points, red. So he's on Tucker Carlson's show to celebrate a congressional win by someone who flipped a typically blue district to red. Yeah, I, I've got thoughts on that, but show Jimmy's too, and then I, I want to break it down. Yeah, so let's look at that. Uh, so, yeah, the great Jimmy Dore segment on Tucker Carlson tonight, calling out Joe Biden for blaming every disaster here at home on Putin. Yeah, so that's not a tweet by Glenn, but it shows uh, both. So. Uh, the news broke that I said that they were the fake left. The very next day, both of them go on Tucker Carlson and insert themselves right in between his cheeks. And they never disagreed, never. You've got a fascist right winger in Tucker Carlson and a progressive on the left can't find a way to disagree with Tucker Carlson. How about the replacement theory? How about that one? How about a billion things he says that's mental and massively right wing? They're like, oh no, but Joe Tucker, you're so right about Myra Flores. You're so right about Latinos. Oh, they, oh, they're, they're no good Democrats. Oh, no, they're bad. They're Repo- they should, all Latinos should vote for Republicans. You're so right, Tucker. You're so right, Tucker. Where's the money, Tucker? All right, and then Jimmy goes on, and what did he say? Oh, you're so right about everything else in the world. Uh, oh, they're blaming it on Putin. Russia's not wrong, Tucker. You're right, Tucker. Russia's great. America's bad. Oh yeah, oh, it's all the Democrats' fault. It's the most obvious thing in the world. You get a couple of patsies who have no morals, who have no principles or decency, and you get them to dance for you. Hey, Glenn, show me you disagreeing with Tucker. Show me you having a debate with Tucker. Show me you having a fight with Tucker. Jimmy, you're pathetic. I don't even need to discuss Jimmy. Look, there is something I slightly disagree with Anon, which is that I think Glenn is smart, okay? That's why I'm more disappointed in him. I, mean, I think he I think he was principled, even on the positions I disagree with him on. We had a debate now over 10 years ago where I moderated on the Young Turks, Glenn Greenwald versus Larry Lessig. Larry Lessig's a Harvard Law professor, a godfather of the campaign finance movement. It was a really interesting debate. And, and Glenn Greenwald said, no, we should keep money in politics. Okay, that's an interesting point of view, but I thought that he, he meant it. And I think he's a smart guy. I think the Jimmies and the Rubens of the world are pathetic, totally pathetic. They'll do anything for money, and they're not at all smart, right? But Glenn knows better. That's why it's disgusting when he dances for them. So show me all of your big critiques of Republicans. Guys, it's so easy to tell who's honest and who's not. We criticize both Republicans and Democrats. They only criticize Democrats and progressives and leave the right wing Republicans alone. Now, I guarantee you as a response to this, that Glenn Greenwald will find a tiny little smidge where he criticized the right wing, a tiny little smidge when he criticized Republicans in the ocean of his content and go, what, what, what? I did it once or twice, kind of. No, you know, where? I mean, he hasn't even I done haven't that. seen it he though. He hasn't even done that. Yeah, he hasn't no. even bothered to do that yet. So in the middle of them trying to do a fascist coup, Glenn, where they were chanting hang Mike Pence and Trump was encouraging it and they were gonna do it, destroy our democracy. You couldn't find a way to criticize Republicans? Would you Peter- couldn't find a way to criticize Trump or Tucker Carlson? You couldn't find a way. No, that's what proves you're fundamentally dishonest. Yeah.
Look, I, I, at this point, I think it's so abundantly clear where these people stand politically that like, no one on the left genuinely looks at them and thinks like, oh no, 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 they're part of us, like our group, our political ideology. They just come across as right wing cranks, either chasing the money or possibly uh, trying to hide something. I don't know. I keep thinking back at the fact that Peter Thiel and his company specifically spied on Glenn Greenwald. It was a huge story. And now all of a sudden, Glenn Greenwald carries water for Peter Thiel and literally works for a company that is heavily invested in by Peter Thiel. What, what did Peter Thiel find about you and what are you hiding? That's what I want to know. I, I don't know, I don't care. All I care I about do. is- I do, I care a lot. Yeah, well I hear you on that. So that's for a, a journalist to figure out. Uh, but. Uh, I do know the results. There's no question about the results. You used to hold the government accountable. You used to hold both parties accountable. Now all of a sudden, you don't. The Republicans are untouchable. The right wing are heavenly, and so your uh, dishonesty is disgusting. And finally, what what actually made me mad was this guy from Third Way jumps in here. Let's show that tweet, okay? And so it's Matt Bennett, and he says. This is lunacy and Glenn Greenwald is horrible. But my more fundamental question is, uh, why does Jake Huger get to call himself a young Turk at age 52? Got him, <laughs> got okay, him. Whatever, I don't care about that. Um, uh, but the reason, third ways are corporate Democrats. They uh, get money from corporations and then they use it to corrupt the Democratic Party. They're the worst of the worst. But he saw that video from a decade ago and he's like, perfect opportunity. I'll put in all progressives in the bucket of Glenn Greenwald and the sellouts. So that when you hear a progressive critique of corporate Democrats, which is the great majority of the Democratic Party and Joe Biden and Pelosi and Schumer, you will dismiss it as if it's from the fake left, the guys who sold out to Tucker Carlson like Glenn Greenwald and Jimmy Dore. No, no, you don't get to play that trick. No, the progressive critique of the Democratic Party is excellent. You guys are sellouts. You take corporate money from people like Matt Bennett day in and day out, and you sell out your own voters. It's disgusting. But it's possible to say that and also say the Republicans are doing terrible things and prove both. When you see anyone only taking one side and telling you how wonderful and amazing Democrats are, know that they're not telling you the truth, which by the way is the great majority of the mainstream media. Or you see others taking only the Republican side and never telling you what their faults are, Tucker Carlson, Glenn Greenwald, etc. Know that they are not telling you the truth. We actually cover the real news and both parties make terrible mistakes and largely serve the elites and the upper class. Now Glenn and Jimmy and those guys are their servants and it's pathetic. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.